Hi, this is David from Mad Tech UK, sorting the good from the mad. Today we're going to look at the Rode SmartLav Plus lapel microphone. Now this product is designed to plug into your smartphone or tablet and give you broadcast quality audio which you can then synchronise with your video later. Now the microphone I'm recording on at the moment is my built-in camera microphone. So I'm going to switch to this after we've unboxed it and you can hear the audio quality difference. So let's have a closer look. So very small box. This retails in the UK at around $39.95. It has a TRRS connection on the side and as depicted on the back there is an iOS app available, um, similar Android apps available as well and the idea is that this does your audio recording. Um, of course the microphone connecting into your phone or tablet will of course use any of the onboard recording applications that you've got but there is a recommended Rode application that you can buy. Um, there is a pro version for four, four £4.49, I believe, and there is a free light version. Um, the difference between the software versions that you can get um, for the iPhone uh, essentially give you different exporting options. There's more on the pro version, and you also get some editing functionality to control your audio. So, let's unbox this, see what we get inside. So you get a nice little sort of plastic fabric case just there, Rode microphones and inside here now there is the main unit what else have we got inside here so we've also got the quick start guide stickers and that's everything so on our quick start guide we've got our QR code so we can go and download the road app from the App Store um, there's no recommended app for Android um, one slight letdown for some users here of Android phones um, of course the the microphone will actually work with any inbuilt um, audio software you've got, but Rode have only produced an app, uh, a dedicated app for the iPhone in this case. So everything that's depicted there we've got. Uh, you've got a small clip to clip it to your uh, lapel or collar or shirt. Uh, we've got a Velcro tag here which is obviously going to be able to uh, tidy up your cabling. And you've got the unit itself. So you've got the, the, the four pin plug that you can see that they not the so you've got the, uh, the the four connector plug there that you can connect into your smartphone or tablet. There's the microphone itself and it also has a tiny sort of uh, furry cover to it to protect against the wind. Now how long is the cable? Because obviously you're going to want to put your phone in your pocket if you're recording to that or if you're recording onto a tablet you're probably going to want to sit that down somewhere while you hold it so the length lengthwise difficult to show on the camera there but that is approximately a meter of cable so that is not a bad length um, you would definitely be able to reach most people's uh, sort of height with that and have a phone in your pocket for example um, you'd have to be quite tall for that not to be enough so I've actually downloaded the professional road record app here um, it's cost approximately four pounds um, unfortunately of course that's the added expense once you've bought the microphone alternatively there is the light version also available from the App Store. Um, I've decided to go for the premium version um, simply because it offers more functionality, inbuilt editing tools um, and more export options for the audio such as exporting to Dropbox um, which I'm planning to use in order to send the audio recordings 
uh, straight across to the computer and then I can synchronize them with the video. So I'm going to open the app. So it's informing me there that there were some upgrade stages that have already been completed. So we're ready to record. Now of course, um, as with Android, iOS does have an inbuilt recording app, um, but I've specifically chosen to use the recommended road app um, because you have got additional options. Now I'm going to plug in the microphone. Now thankfully my case doesn't prohibit the microphone actually getting into there. I'm going to connect up the clip so that I can actually connect this to my shirt. So I've got the microphone successfully connected to my shirt. Uh, let's go back into the app and I'm going to switch recordings. So here we are with the recording. Now if I press on the microphone we do an audio hardware check. Now one of the advantages here is that because we're using the recommended road application there's a lot of settings controls as to the quality of the audio that we can receive from the microphone. Now these settings wouldn't be available um, if we used the standard iOS recording app for example. So I've selected 48,000 Hertz. I want the maximum uh, quality recording here. Uh, the channel has defaulted to mono in this case um, as this is a, micro a mono microphone. So we are going to save that configuration. We have got upload options in the corner here um, but at the moment we've got no recording so if I select on the plus the application asks if I'd like to access the microphone and I'll say OK. Now there's a sensitivity meter just running here as I'm talking. We've got settings in the corner so I'm going to go to the settings option here. I'll go to input. Now again as I was mentioning obviously using the recommended application here um, there's a lot of controls that I've got in order to determine how good a quality the audio is. Um, for example I can increase the mic gain here. I'm actually going to push up just a shade uh, because when I was looking at the first screen I noticed that as I was speaking uh, the volume seemed quite low so I'll just increase the mic gain slightly. Um, we've got some additional options here such as incorporating a high pass filter, uh, we've got a digital boost option and we've even got some presets here as well things like vocal enhancer, uh, rumble reducer, hiss reducer, uh, bass reducer there's some useful features here. So I'm going to go back to the main screen here. Um, I've noticed I've increased the gain slightly and I can see the meter just hitting the right point there. I'm going to hit record. And this is me now on the Rode microphone, the Rode SmartLav Plus. Everything that I'm recording at this point I've recorded through the new microphone. So hopefully we can see quite a difference on the recording compared to the first lot of audio that we had. Now if I press stop, all of the previous recording obviously done through the Rode mic, we've switched back to the camera microphone. So hopefully we can see there's a definite positive improvement when using the SmartLav Plus. Now I've gone to the upload option here and we've got SoundCloud, we've got Dropbox, uh, we've got file sharing, email and FTP. So I'm going to use Dropbox. Right, I've logged into my Dropbox account. Um, I can choose the format that I'd like to upload to. So I've got things like um, AIFF, Wave, um, MP3, Apple Lossless. Um, I tend to use MP3 in these cases, so I'm going to stick with that. Go back to my settings, I'm logged in. Um, I could choose a directory to upload the audio to. So I shall choose from one of my existing directories in this case. Go to my camera uploads directory and I'm going to press send to Dropbox. So there's a progress bar filling up and it's done. Now hopefully if I go to my main computer that file should be there and you'll know because you're watching this video.
Now for the conclusion, I've gone back to using the Rode SmartLav Plus microphone. Hopefully you can hear the immediate difference. I've reviewed the 20 seconds or so of audio that I've recorded during the unboxing, and I did find that to be very clear, very precise audio. A lot of the background hiss and, and sort of general noise is completely removed compared to the camera's onboard microphone. Um, naturally, that is designed to pick up a range of sounds around the camera, whereas the SmartLav Plus is designed to pick up the person who is wearing it. Um, I would definitely say that if this is the kind of microphone that, that you require, you are mad to miss it. That is, that is our review conclusion here. Um, it definitely would be very good for anybody who needs to get some distance from their camera. They maybe are not at the desk or are unable to sit near a sort of fixed microphone. Of course, you don't actually have to use this um, for video footage. You could just simply use this for memos if you want nice, clear audio recording to your phone or laptop or iPad or whatever. And really, the results speak for themselves. You can hopefully hear the, the difference in audio. In addition, obviously, you've seen how I've gone through the Rode app um, and, and its functionality. I've been very pleased with its ease with which I can then get that to my computer in order to mix into my video. I sent straight to Dropbox, for example. Um, there were other choices on there. But the only downside, of course, is that you need to spend another sort of four pounds odd um, in order to get that on top of the microphone cost, um, unless you buy the free sort of light version um, from the App Store. Again, of course, Android didn't come with a native app, but you, you can obviously use any microphone recording software, any sound recording software um, on your smartphone or tablet. So as I say, I give this a thumbs up. You'd be mad to miss it. Um, I've been David for Mad Tech UK. Thanks for watching. <laughs>